All right, welcome to World Cup Math. This game will help reinforce your addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division skills. Click play. Okay, so the first, first thing you need to do is choose which operation you'd like to practice. I'm going to choose multiplication. Click next. And here's where you select your team. As you can see, there are 16 different teams you can select. I'm going to go with the USA. Once I click USA, I'm going to see uh, where I match up in the tournament. So I click select. And so my first round match, as you see right here, here, here I am, is against Uruguay. Okay, and you'll see how this works. So click start. Okay, so I am kick whenever it says your turn, that means I am kicking first. Now all I have to do is answer the multiplication qu uh, question up here correctly. Okay, so six times nine. And I see right here it's 54. Click goal. I take a one nothing lead. So now I'm in goal, and I just have to do the same thing. If I answer the multiplication problem correctly here, I'm going to block Uruguay's shot. So 0 times 5 is 0, and block it right there. Okay. So it's still 1-0. I, I don't get a goal for blocking a shot. I do get a point, but not a goal. So now it's my turn to kick again. 2 times 9 is 18, so I'm going to score. And there, I take a 2 nothing lead. I also get a point. The timer is you have five minutes to complete the entire match, and it's a shootout. So now, it's Uruguay's turn again. Three times zero. If I get this right, I block their shot. My turn to kick, one times five. That's five. Zero times six. I'm in goal again. I know that's zero. Seven times one. Seven. That should put me up four nothing. 0 times 4 is 0. I block Uruguay's shot. And finally, 2 times 5 is 10. It should give me 5 goals. I just have to finish it out here. 9 times 9, 81. I'm going to block their shot. And I'm going to move on to the next round against England. You see it works just like a real tournament. All the other matches were going on uh, as my match with Uruguay was going on. So you see here, now there's only 8 teams left. If I beat England, I'll be in the final 4. Every round, the problems get a little bit harder. I would say not terribly harder. Most of them you could probably still do in your head, but you might have to watch the timer a little bit more. So this is how you play World Cup math.